a stream. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? How y'all doing today? Hope everyone is having a really good day and the upcoming holidays known as Christmas, which is right around the corner. But today I want to talk about the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt here on the PS5 version upgrade that just previously came out of December 14th of this year. So otherwise, so much further ado, hopefully we can dive right into this. I make sense of everything and how I can so be able me, to just give everything in a certain type of context of what I really want to talk about this game in general. So, what I would really like to start off with, um, I am almost currently level 12 with Geralt in this game. And what I can formally say is that this is one of the best open world games I have ever played opposite that of Skyrim or any other open world games to a very certain type of standard. Now, what I really think what makes The Witcher 3 so unique in so many different ways from other open world games is that it's not just because of its RPG mechanics in terms of like, you know, building up your character, uh, using specific type of gear sets of what you want to do in terms of your playstyle and that sort of way. And it has to do with what kind of weapons that you'll be using as well. You know, it's like you're using steel swords for humans and you're using for silver swords for monsters, basically, in, in that certain type of concept or retrospect of the game itself. And I think that's what makes this game different from that. Now, what I will say about The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt as well. Uh, now, going back to not only is it just one of my favorite games of this generation of gaming, whether what year this game came out or even the year 2022... I think what really makes this game even set the bar on open world games as well is the combat. I love the combat in this game. It's very, it's not a double standard. And what I mean by that, it's not, it's, it's not just like a typical RPG game. But what's nice about this game, I really think that The Witcher 3 does a good job of knowing what it wants to do in terms of its combat mechanics. I think its combat mechanics work really amazingly well and what i love about that is the fact that you can be able to dodge you can be able to block you can be able to use your magic as you see fit and you have different mag magical effects as well or mechanics through that certain type of concept and what's really cool about that is the fact that i love the way how the combat works along with the magic you know with the magic however you have art which is basically going to be like a little bit of a it's kind of like a wind blast, as a word, if, if, if I say so myself. So, and then you have Axie, which is basically going to be a little bit of a mind control, especially if you're going to go into combat with uh, enemies that are going to have shields to protect them. I do highly advise going with the Axie going up against those types of enemies because it will help them be a little bit more sustainable to, for in, you know, in your face combat and being able to just hit them in the fray in that type of concept so that's a really another good way of using that type of mechanic as well now one, one of my favorite magic systems in the witcher 3 i would have to say i think how would have to be the igni which is the fire effect i think the fire is very effective on most cases on most scenarios whether if it's combat or just you know like just using it by itself for magic purposes or concepts that sort of thing and i think that's what makes the the magic system in the witcher 3 so unique and so for not foreboding but that's the wrong word but it's just it what it's what makes this game very different from what other games do in terms of the uh, of the gameplay elements or its gameplay mechanics when it comes to the magic systems you know i've recently finished kingdoms of, Am of amla re-wrecking not too long ago it was about two weeks ago if i remember correctly and what i love about that game because i made several videos on that game as well i talked about the i, I basically talked quite a bit about not just builds for itself of the game for the game but I talked a little bit extensively on the magic system. And I think the magic system does an amazing job in that game as well. But I think what makes the magic system so, like I said, so unique and so different from that, from what Kingdoms of Amalur does, or Skyrim, or Elder Scrolls, Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion, is that you, have, you can use these magic systems in The Witcher 3 to circumvent to any kind of play style that you want to see fit or as you play within the game itself and i think that's what makes this game so cool and awesome as well now what i will say i think Geralt of rivia is one of the most badass characters within the open realm of the open world games genre itself other than role-playing games them too role-playing games though too because i think when it comes to open world games specifically or in general 
they are so overwhelming overwhelming excuse me and so i think what makes the rpg mechanics and the open world mechanics of the witcher 3 it just makes it feel a little bit different to a certain way of what it wants to do and it, what i'm saying is that the witcher 3 does not have a identity crisis i feel like that when it comes to most open world games i feel like sometimes they do a little bit of an identity crisis to where it's like they know what they want to do but at the same time it doesn't always tell you what the game wants to do or what how you play it or vice versa and i think the witcher 3 just it it just makes it a lot better in terms of that aesthetic and you know with the combat and vice versa i so i think that's what makes the witcher 3 so awesome and unique so now, what I will say, another thing I I will say a, another thing about The Witcher Three. I think what really makes this game even more stand out than anything else is the fact that you know it's world. I I love the world that this game tells or what it shows in terms of its graphic fidelity, and I think its graphic fidelity is one of the best I've seen, especially on the ne next generation of consoles or even on PC. Now, granted, you know, with PC, you can mod the game, of course, but on on con when you're playing on console, especially on PS5 or Xbox Series X or S, um, yes, the graphics can be somewhat maybe a little bit downgraded, but I do, however, find it hard to believe that uh, this game still looks absolutely amazing on console or with that on PC itself as that type of port. Now, what I will say is that I love... I just love the way how the world looks in The Witcher 3. I really like the way it just how it just it tells a, f a really good story of wherever you go, when, whether if you're exploring or doing optional side quests or you know doing the main quest itself. Um, I just love that aspect. You know, it's really it's just so cool of what you can what these stories tell and how it and how it tells and how. And how different the mission... I feel like the mission structure in The Witcher 3... Uh, it's not convoluted like most open world games are. And that's... I actually thoroughly believe that. So, that's what I will say. Now... There is one thing I do would like to say about this game. Not just in general, but in a general consensus of everything of what this game does. Is... It's not just about the combat. It's more on the lines of the weapons. I love the weapons in this game. I think the weapons are like one of the best I've seen in another in the game like this. I mean, granted, you know, while I was playing yesterday, actually, I want to put this a little comparison in this video real quick. Now, I kind of, I did a little bit of comparison yesterday. Not just like, you know, like it's for Skyrim on my left side of the screen and which are three on my right side of the screen. I didn't do that. But I did a little bit of a more of a like a imagination visualization comparison to what The Witcher Three does in terms of it of everything what it does in terms of combat, its story, its mission structure, and vice versa. Now I did that with Skyrim as well, and uh, it's and I finally came to the gist of it and to understand that The Witcher Three feels like a little bit of that of an Elder Scrolls game to a certain extent because the way how the game plays. And it's the way how the it's the way how the story structure is, how the mission structure is. Of course, you know it's optional side quests, and then you have Witcher quest, you have Witcher contracts. And that's one thing I will mention here, though, too. So I thought I want to put that comparison a little bit out there. So now, what I will talk about the Witcher contracts. I think what makes the Witcher contracts so you cool and unique within the Witcher Three, because not just because it's a different RPG concept or it's Monster. or it's gradual combat systems and it's magic systems but what i love about the witcher contracts is like you're always going to go up against different types of beasts they're not always the same and i think that's what makes it so unique and so much more cooler that way from from that you know like playing skyrim or like far cry or an assassin's creed you're always going up against the same any right enemy right but each enemy within this game are always going to be different. Now there are enemies that are the same to a certain to a certain degree. I mean, chastise me either way. I don't care. But I do believe that when it comes to unique characteristics of these different types of monsters that you're going up against, whether they're, they're like the cockatrice, which is like another winged beast, or like a wyvern, or you know, like a grave hag, you know, that sort of thing. You have all these different monsters, monster atrocities that are not that are not just gross looking. 
but they are so cool at that they are so cool at that certain type of concept and aspect as well and i think that's what makes the witcher 3 stand out in terms not just of its open world thing but just in general of what this game really pronounces itself to be and what this game does to make it so different from that other open world games in general so that's what i will say now we are getting close to this video so what i will say i think the witcher 3 does it just does an amazing job of what it wants to do and it does it amazingly well and what i mean by that it i love its storytelling uh no matter if you're like doing an optional side quest or if you're doing a main story or, or if you're doing like a a witcher contract it's always going to be different or somewhat unique in terms of it's the way how you investigate things you know like when you when you're doing a witcher contract for example you will do a little bit of an investigation before you have to go against that type of monster in this game and i think that's what makes the i love the investigations in this game i think it's one of the best i've seen amongst from you know like the batman arkham games i think the batman arkham games did a good job in that as well but in turn i think in that concept or the aspect of the witcher 3 it just does it better because there's always going to be a sense of urgency there's all uh an agency and of what these investigations do to not just portray how the quest is going to pan out or how it's going to turn out but it just has to do with of what's going to happen towards the end of the quest of that witcher contract and i think that's what i love about the witcher contracts in the, in the witcher 3 wild haunt and it just it's the amazing storytelling in that way it's phenomenal it's like i said it's one of the best i've seen and that's all i have to say about that so what i will say i mean i don't know either if this is going to be a review or not i'm just basically telling you what i truly think about what this game really makes different and what and how unique it is towards any other open world rpgs out there and it's like i'm not doing this professional reasons i'm only doing this just to have fun you know i love making these videos for people out there who want to see these types of videos and if you like these type of videos by all means leave some nice comments i really greatly appreciate that it really helps me somewhat you know build my channel to a certain degree but other than that i'm not doing this for fun excuse me for profit i'm only doing this for fun like i said you know it's like i want to remain i want it to have it be that way and that's the way it should be and so i greatly appreciate it for everyone who has been coming to my channel watching my content and keep giving me some really good feedback or or whatever it may be and it just it helps me as not just an amateur youtuber as i am but it just helps me overall so that's how i truly feel about that but anyways, too much further ado, I really greatly appreciate it for anyone who has watched anything for what I've been putting out there for, on my channel, and um, it's been an, it's been an amazing ride. And so far, I've I've been really happy of what my viewer status has been on my channel and everything else. So I'm hoping to increase that a lot more towards the end of this year and end uh, end start of 2023. So in retrospect and in conclusion, what I will say about The Witcher 3, by all means, go out there, buy this game, whether if you're on PS4, PC, Xbox, or on PlayStation 5, I do highly recommend this game. I think, like I said, this is definitely one of the best games I ever played, whether if it's on older generation or new generation of hardware or on PC, give it a go. And but this is Flying Dutchman 101 here. Thank you for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. But if you'd like any other videos like this, please leave a comment, like, or subscribe, or hit that no, sub, uh, notification bell. And by all means, have a Merry Christmas, everyone, to the whole entire world of the USA. Peace. Thanks to ye, Master Witcher.